Welcome back to another VFX tutorial for game maker or basically for everybody because um, this topic is kind of important. I thought like, hey, let's give a little bit more insight into damage numbers because um, a lot of stuff seems trivial, but actually the motion, the coloring, the fading in and out does make sense and it gives mm, some information to the player very, very elegantly um, what's actually happening. So let's say uh, what you, we're seeing in front of us. So let's say we are attacking those guys and then once um, we slash them or attack them, then the damage number is first of all red, which is indicating an important uh, thing because red is one of those really prominent colors. And second of all, if we are attacking an enemy, then the damage pop up is being uh, moved away from them. So basically we're just attacking and then this thing is just moving away from them indicating we have for example chipping away the health or the armor or something else and therefore um, it is subtracting and being well negative to the player and of course the same applies to uh, if the enemy is attacking the player on the other side. But of course here uh, what you saw in front of you is then uh, come on come on faster a positive effect which is giving you XP or you're collecting something then as you can see it's going upwards and then it's falling down back on the player which just indicates like hey it you you are collecting it so as you can see color and motion and then fading in and fading out is having kind of an impact on what the thing is and what it's actually conveying but of course one interesting thing is for example um, all the damage numbers here in this game are being popped in instantly so basically they have just a phase of being there and then doing their motion going upwards sideways or whatever and then they're fading out but the one which is a little bit out of line is the xp which is then having a bounce in motion no no a little bit more come on go on faster so for example, once we attack this dude and get rid of him, come on, get rid of him, then um, you will see that the, this number is getting popped in with uh, a bounce. So here size does also matter. So here I thought like, hey, let's do that in Game Maker. And I created a little sample project which you can download. So. I don't want to go over the whole stuff then the video would be i don't know 20 minutes or long yeah a little bit too much and here i thought like hey this is the guy attacking this is the guy <laughs> receiving the damage and you can actually convey a few things more so for example one thing which you see in a lot of video games is that you have a damage number which is just trickling downwards these are then damages which are for example poison or maybe a damage or burn or whatever because these things are just being uh, rapidly done but they're just trickling in uh, or ticking in constantly so uh, therefore it makes sense to uh, have a different motion for them and also a different color or maybe do a zigzag move movement i'm not sure if any game actually does that but technically you could but it looks kind of silly but hey why not and then for example um here on all the numbers so for example this one is just going upwards and then it's staying and boom there it is and just for context um, all these things are really easy to do because first of all they just use the game makers inbound um, direction speed gravity and friction so these values are just conveying the motion so basically the movement which is super easy to do you will see that uh, once you uh, well download the project file for yourself and then um, I just separated into three parts so first one is the popping in far part most of them are just instantly there but let's say for example we are um, having um, the XP which is just not just getting faded in it is actually also um, doing kind of a popping in motion concerning its size so here once again different ways how to achieve the same goal but i thought like hey this could be interesting and cool and just for context so you 
need to create a text, enable SDF, and then for example, I don't know, in the controller object or whatever, you um, have to set the font, then draw the, uh, set the H line to FA center because it's kind of looking silly if you don't do this for the bouncing of the font, it definitely looks a little bit off. And then let's give the uh, font an outline which we can have with font enable effects. And then of course with the same uh, font which we're having here. And then what I did is have one um, damage number parent which is having three states. So once again, the fade in, stick around, and then the fade out phase, which are just in between one and a half seconds, a little bit more, a little bit longer this actually on my side, but if, for example here in Roguelite 2, it's definitely going a little bit faster. And these are the values which are being changed. So you just need to convey, hey, what kind of damage number are we um, having? So basically what kind of text we are popping up, then what kind of color we are using, then the alpha, is it fading in, fading out, most of them are just fading out, and then scale, which normally is set to one at the, for all, but let's say for all the XP, it's actually in the first phase of fading in, it's just bouncing in. This is how it basically works. I don't know, so let's say for example, we're just taking the normal damage number just quickly, so as you can see, it is uh, a child of that and then we're just adding just in the create event a random direction going upwards to fly up in a cone give it a specific speed and the counter gravity so it's falling down and the number um for a oh, well a different color for the text and that's pretty much it and we just give it i don't know a random number which we do and that's really really the whole core of it very easy peasy stuff once you see all that stuff in motion um, there's not too much actually going on. I don't know, for example, here for here, same stuff, going upwards in the upwards direction, give it the speed and the friction so it stays up and just give it a different color. That's it. So easy peasy stuff and uh, well, easy to download for you as well. And that was it from my side. Have a good one. One up indie.